Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, Stack in the South coming back at you with another brand new video. It is Saturday morning here in Northern Florida. I have some sunshine shining in uh, to this to the studio this morning. Studio. Um, yeah, I just want to talk about uh, nothing really major. Just wanted to talk about how am I storing my gold. Um, trying to get more organized with my stuff a little bit, you know, over time. Um, not that I have tons and tons to worry about, but you know, eventually it'll start catching up to me. So, um, how do I store my gold? I store my gold in these air tights. Um, here I got two different kinds. Um, this is a 16 millimeter. This holds the, uh, the gold Eagles beautifully. Um, and this is a 15 millimeter. I only had 16 millimeter last time when I got this two peso or two and a half peso which just says a 15, you see it just doesn't quite fit into the 16 millimeter. So I picked up a 15 millimeter. Um, and I might hurt hurt someone's feelings, but this, this is about to get put into an airtight as well. Uh, probably this one, after I take this one out, put it in the 15 millimeter, I'll have this one, I'll put the gold bar in that one, um, and I'll still have an extra 16 millimeter at this point. They, they never keep the 16 millimeters in stock, so I always try to buy those up when I can, or at least a couple of them, whether or not I need them. Because they'll go like a month or two without restocking, and I don't understand that. But anyway, and then I got this little tube I was told these would fit in, so we'll see how all this goes. This is a half dollar tube. Um, and I'm suspecting I'm only going to be able to put in a few, like five, maybe six, who knows. Anyway, all right, here we go. Go ahead and uh, take this out. It falls right out. Look at that. Set that to the side. All right. Try and do this. I know this is going to be super interesting, y'all. What else do you want to watch? Someone. Just play with their gold for no random reason on a Saturday morning. Oh yeah, does anyone want to see this before I put it in the... It's a beauty. So small, but the, the detail is pretty good. Ooh, look at that. Look at that luster. Anyway, all right, let's get this thing put away. See, 15 is a little small. Those are supposedly 15 and a half. So, 15 is a little bit small, but you know, I don't know. I couldn't find a 15 and a half. Oh boy, this might not actually work. Let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Let's see how this works. I'll put the lid on and see if this actually fits because it is a little too big for this rubber or foam ring. But let's see. All right, it's sealed. Beautiful. All right, no more rattling around in there. It's in there nice and firm. Two and a half gold pesos. All right, so next, cut this bad dog open. Yes, I'm going to do it. A little nervous, but I've seen other people do it. So, uh, I believe in free it Friday. I should have done this yesterday, right? Because yesterday was Friday. Um, you know, I actually don't open any of these on film or anything but uh i believe in freeing my stuff so you ready we're about to go oh yeah maybe maybe not okay just kidding <sighs> all right and we make our first incision oh, there's no turning back now is there all right i don't know how difficult this is going to be to open up but we're just going to cut around like this and hopefully it'll just open right up, in theory. 
Oh, there it is. Oof. Yeah, maybe I should have grabbed a glove. No. Yeah, hold on. Boy, that is a mirror finish. Wow. I mean, that is like a mirror. You will definitely see my face in that all day long. Shoot, man. This coffee's got me a little jittery, y'all. Sorry. Around two and a half grams. Valcami bar has been freed from its <laughs> from its uh, enclosure. I know. I know there's a few of you that at least sighed when you saw that. Anyway, very cool bars. Drop it in there. There we go. And see, it's still a little big. That's okay. Uh, I just was never fond of the assay bar. I don't know why. It, I don't know, you know, I've talked to the coin stores, they don't really give it any more thought than other gold because they test everything. Now, this is a half dollar thing, and I'm not going to shove this one in there because I've already tried. But these things, look, it'll only go down to here reasonably. I don't know why. It fits beautifully till there, and I'm not going to push it down any farther because I had to destroy one to get out one of these capsules right here. <laughs> with the capsule in it, and I was a little nervous about that. So, all right, those don't work. Thankfully, they're only like a dollar or something. I'm sure I could find a use for that one since I destroyed the other one. But anyway, here we are. My gold stack stacking on up. Look at that. Pretty dope. All right, let's clean this up. Clean the studio up. All right, now I have an extra foam ring at 16 millimeters. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but that's okay. I should find these air tights to be pretty good. Uh, these air tights, I don't think, are quite as tight when you seal them up as these ones. It could just be me, but this one seems to be much better fitting. Anyway, so I was going to put those in that little tube. But, nope, not going to do that. I'm going to be able to get my, my stuff out of there quickly. All right. Anyway, just wanted to do a little video. Kind of worked out, kind of didn't. It is what it is. So, all right, silver portion of this video. And I say silver because I'm used to doing silver. The gold portion of this video is now over. Let's um let's get on to the Hot Wheel, right? So, I know you guys can't miss this one. This is a big mamma jamma. I'll start with this. All right. This is just a nondescript box fan, right? Um it's, but it's got the golf livery on it. This is just a Hot Wheel design. Nothing special, but you can fit the entire car back in there, uh, which is pretty cool. This one is only metal on the bottom and metal body, but the rest of this is plastic, so it's actually kind of light compared to some of them. But this is, this is where it's at. All right. Porsche 917 LH. Pretty nice. Metal on metal. Rubber wheels. Um... The Gulf livery is one of my favorites. That'll cause me to stop and pick something up. The Gulf livery. I say that. I haven't bought these for months and months. But Firestone, Gulf, Porsche. I can't see what some of these other ones are. But anyway. Yep, pretty cool. There we go. Porsche 917. Holler. Um, all right, so I gotta go get some stuff accomplished today. Um, I'm out.